Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about the difference between deleting and archiving an email. So if you're in your inbox and you go to one of the rows that contains an email and click on the box all the way to the left, it is going to pop up some different options at the top for you. And the one you're probably most familiar with is the trash can, and this is deleting. Um, when you click on this, it's going to delete the checked email. Um, and yes, you could get it back um, if you go through your deleted files, but eventually those files are completely deleted and you'll never be able to get that email back. All right. Um, the other option that you have is two to the left. You have a it looks like a little box with a down arrow and that's called an archive um, button. And with this, um, what it's going to do is it gets rid of that email off your screen um, and it almost feels like it's deleting it because you're not going to find it in like your start area. You're not going to find it in um, your inbox anymore. Um, so it feels like it's deleted, but really what it's doing is it's putting it in, it's filing it away in a system um, so that you could possibly be able to retrieve it later. So when you do that, um, we're going to try both of those out really quick. So with this one, we're going to delete. Um, and then with this one, we're going to archive. Now, what, what we're going to be able to do is we'll be able to then um, be able to call back up emails with our search mail. So if I type in delete, which is what I named the one email that I deleted, you'll notice that it can't find anything. Now, if I put in archive, which I named the other email, you'll notice that I can see I've done this a couple times. I can see both those emails. Another option that you have is all the way to the left, um, you have that nice column um, of options. If you click on more, you can scroll down and you can see the all mail um, option. And if you click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up all your mail, whether it's archived, whether it's snoozed, whether it's in your inbox, all those different things. And you'll notice right there at the top are my two archived that we just saw. But nowhere in here are you going to be able to see delete. So archive is a really nice option if you may ever need that email again, even if you don't think you might need it, it would probably be a great idea to archive. Now, the last thing I want to show you really quick is that we talked about how you could do it from this standpoint in your inbox. But if you're within an email, so if you click in, you again at the top have those same options. You have the delete and archive up here. So you can press those two buttons, whichever one you decide. So really, it's up to you. Um, but as a um, avid Gmail user, I often use archive because I never know when I'm going to need the email back again. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on the difference between deleting and archiving an email.